This assignment is about controlling of rotary inverted pendulum using coancer cube system as you can see here which including the rotary arm, pendulum link, encoder and DC motor using three type of control system uh, one PID control system, two PD fuzzy control system and the third one using fuzzy control system. The objective of the task is to control the pendulum link in such a way that when we move it manually to the upright position it engages within plus or minus 10 degrees and then it keeps its upright position um, between that engagement which is plus or minus 10 degrees and keep its upright position with any disturbance now here you can see the <coughs> implementation block to, for this control system which here we have the read and write blocks read basically reading the existing <coughs> position for rotary arm which represent a theta and pendulum leak represent as alpha in the middle we have got our PD control system the top two lines is for rotary arm here is the for the pendulum link which we use the um, proportional gain and derivative gain for this control block and then the value is collected in the submission block and then it goes to switch to engage the system within plus or minus 10 degrees and then it goes to the right block which represent the our coincer cube system and here you can see the scope which you basically you can read the uh, uh, position of the rotary arm and pendulum link in the real time now we if we play our implementation we can see how the uh, system works in the real time so now we move it to the upright position as soon as it goes within plus or minus 10 degrees the system engages and keep the pendulum link with, uh, in the upright position and within this range is control and with any disturbance the pendulum link keeps its upright position and we can look at the values for theta and alpha when it's behaving in the real time as you can see here the alpha is controlled now which is a straight line and as soon as you apply a disturbance is oscillating and then it goes back to the stable position so basically this is uh, keeping the pendulum link in the upright position using PD control system The next method for controlling the rotary inverter pendulum is using PD fuzzy logic control system. As you can see in this implementation diagram, we have got two fuzzy logic control system, one for the rotary arm and the other one for pendulum link. The position of the rotary arm and pendulum link will read and then feed back through our fuzzy logic control system. We are using gain values here for the theta and alpha position and theta and alpha velocity to tune our fuzzy logic control system. Now we start to run the system using PD fuzzy logic uh, implementation. As you can see here, the system is running now, so when we move the pendulum link to the upright position, it's engaged within plus or minus 10 degrees and keep its upright position. Looking at the values for alpha and theta in the real time, we can see how the alpha behaves here. Then you apply disturbance. As you can see here, when you apply the step and the system oscillating and goes back to the stable position. It's the same for the theta. This is the movement for the theta. When you apply disturbance, the theta oscillating and then 
it goes back to the stable position. So this is basically controlling the rotary inverter pendulum using PD fuzzy logic control system. The third method of uh, controlling rotary inverted pendulum is using just fuzzy logic control system without any gains in the implementation diagram. As you can see in the implementation diagram, again we have got the same fuzzy logic controller for the rotary arm and for the pendulum link. The position for the rotary arm and pendulum link will read and then uh, fit feedback and then go through our fuzzy logic control system. The, the top two lines is the theta position and theta velocity and the bottom two lines are alpha position and alpha velocity. This all go to the fuzzy logic controller and collect the submission blocks and will basically correct the angle of theta and alpha and keep the pendulum link in the upright position. Now when we run the implementation to see how the <coughs> control system works using fuzzy logic control. So when we move the pendulum link to the upright position, as soon as it gets to the plus or minus degree, the system, the control system engages and keep the pendulum link in the upright position. Now we can have a look at the alpha graph as you can see here in the real time. The alpha is oscillating and keep it in the right point when we apply a disturbance is oscillating and then it goes to the stable position so it's oscillating and then it goes to the stable position now we can have a look at the theta behavior in the real time so as you can see when we apply disturbance the theta position oscillating and then it goes to the stable position so this is controlling pendulum link uh, using fuzzy logic control system